Commanding in size and fierce in nature, it's easy to marvel at the golden eagle. But for the people in the rolling hills of the nation of Kyrgyzstan, these birds of prey are not meant to be admired from afar. They're places right at home, where they're adopted as members of the family, molded into expert hunters and loyal friends. Here's ABC's Gloria Riviera. From the sky, the golden eagle is one of the most lethal hunters on the planet. On the ground, in this rugged corner of Kyrgyzstan, it seemed like everyone we met, from grown men to young boys, had a raptor on his arm or his head. But these eagles aren't pets, they're partners. Kyrgyz men have been hunting with golden eagles in these hills for untold generations. But today, trying to find a real eagle hunter still able to use the bird as a weapon was harder than we thought. Our journey began at dawn several days earlier. A young hunter, Chinggis, is our guide. He's driving us into the foothills of the Tian Shan mountain range. This is Golden Eagle country. We're stuck. Doesn't help that our Soviet-era Jeep has seen better times. So we set off on foot. Chinggis leads us through an arid landscape. It's so dry, the last thing we expected to find was... Oh, my wow. God! <laughs> right. We're standing in a cannabis field. This is a cannabis field. Wild growing. Wild. That's not why we came, so we press further. But the first eagles we see up close aren't hunting. They're posing with paying customers. It seems golden eagles are doing more photo ops than hunting these days. They're a big tourist attraction. The few times Chinggis and his friends try to show us what their eagles can do. They don't do much. Apologetic, Chinggis tells us we could try to find his idol, Talgar, the hunter's hunter, and Tamara, his ultimate eagle. Unfortunately, he doesn't live close by, and it takes us another full day to get there. In the end, we find him at home with his family, not a tourist in sight. This is his beloved Tamara. The pair have been hunting together for nine years, and their bond is obvious. When she's not hunting, she often wears a small leather cap to cover her eyes. But Talgar keeps her sharp by hunting almost every day, and we're in luck because they're heading out this morning. Together with his young son, Talgar hikes into the hills only stopping at the perfect vantage point. Far below them is a sacrificial rabbit. When Talgar takes off Tamara's leather cap, she knows the hunt is on. With the rabbit now in her talons, Tamara waits patiently, trained to capture but not to kill until Talgar is at her side. Her skills will help feed his family all winter. But Tamara was wild once, like his new eagle back home, who is still tense around people, his feathers bristling, a sign he still doesn't fully trust Talgar yet. As calm as Talgar is, watch closely, there. In a split second, the eagle attacked. Oh. It's talons drawing blood. So this eagle is not fully tamed yet, and it'll snap out at him with those talons. And one quick, we didn't even see that happen. It was so fast. As it turns out, even a famous eagle hunter has a hovering mom. She cleans his cut the Kyrgyz way with a shot of vodka. But what happens next is surprising. Soon, the eagle is eating out of Talgar's hand. These animals are picky, and they survive on fresh meat. Letting Talgar feed him is a big breakthrough. But Talgar knows this eagle isn't ready to hunt with him. <laughs> Whether posing or hunting, eagles support entire communities, and they're part of Kyrgyz families. How close is the relationship between you and the eagle? I love my bird more than my wife. <laughs> you love your bird more yeah. than your wife? Yeah. <laughs> I won't tell your wife. Yeah. Despite the love, eagles here are transported by questionable means. Eagle in the trunk. <laughs> Not exactly where I thought he'd put it. Everyone says the only way to get an idea of what that bond is like is to hold one. Even though I know this eagle is trained, I'm nervous. Wow. 
But soon we both relax. This is a strong animal. Feels like a very strong animal. And these talons through this <laughs> thick leather glove, you can still feel them. <laughs> An eagle's wingspan can be seven and a half feet. Think of an NBA player and add some. Their talons are strong enough to kill a wolf. Oh, that's as sharp as the edge of a knife. That is really sharp. In these rolling hills, Kyrgyz boys and eagles grow up together. They carry eagles and falcons on their shoulders as young as six or seven. Are you scared? Have you ever been scared? They're, they're so big. He says, of course I'm not scared. I trained her all by myself. That little boy could be the next Talgar. Once Tamora escaped, Talgar searched the skies, but she was gone. Days later, she flew back to him on her own, and she's stayed ever since. It's all the proof we need that this pair is the real thing. For Nightline, Gloria Rivera, ABC News, Kyrgyzstan.